starting goalies tonight. A bit of a twist, Bob. Yeah, we're going to see Antoine Bebo, who just turned uh, 21 years of age a couple of days ago, getting his first career Calder Cup playoff start. He finished the season with five consecutive victories, seven of his last nine, and I think that he's up for the task. He's had a lot of big games in his career going back to last season. Tom McCollum has played all the way. Well, you know what? It's interesting to see. Is I'm sure Jeff Blatchell uh, might be a little bit worried about his starting goaltender after what transpired last night. Now racing forward is Brown back across the blue line. Had a man to beat, and he fires one wide of the mark. Hulking in again. Runs into Sam Carrick, and he puts him to the ice. Here's Connor Brown working against Brennan Evans. Mickelson drifts in, looks. Side door! Rupert was right there, but he... Got it a little too sharply. Well, yeah, it was a little crisp on the pass, but I think that was the kind of play you needed to do to fool the goaltender, as if he would have handled that puck, would have been an easy tap in in the back door. A Tennessee with speed, trying to get around Mickelson. He takes the shot, he missed. And now Marchenko out front, pops up over Bebo on the tip in, and it's one nothing Griffins over the Marlies. As Louis Margabre was going to the net, and found the puck. Percy bumps him off the puck and then moves it back up along the boards as Fratton looks up, picks it up, chips it by his man. Matt Fratton shoots and McCollum making the save. Little toss back to Stuart Percy and a sharp pass ahead for William Nylander. He finds Fratton way across ice and he comes down inside the Griffin zone, cuts in, takes the shot, Matt Fratton. Well, he made that look easy, but McCollum got a piece to keep it out. Comes back up along the wall. Pace tries to play it in. Fratton coming away with it. He's got Carrick to his left. And now it's Matt Fratton has Carrick getting out front of the net. Tries to send it back out to him. William Nylander in tight. Carrick up top scores! Sam Carrick ties it up for the Toronto Marlies here in game five early in the second period. Tiverton up through center. He's got help onto the right side. Victor Love keeps his man out wide and then tosses him over as Nicholas Jensen rudely hits the ice. Back up high. Stepping in. No sick. He got two yesterday. Little backhander. Stop! Antoine Bebo! What a save! He knocks it down with the stick and keeps it out. Kicked along by Sam Carrick and he pushes it out. Nylander was away, but he didn't see that puck coming in behind him. Mantha rips one at Antoine Bebo as the mates meet. Here's McKeg back for Roadwall. Lifts it to the net, and that one got up high and into the glass. Right back the other way. Porter, he's got a Tennessee at the net. Picks it up himself. Shot pounder off the pads that Bebo turns aside. <laughs> Evans lets one go, and uh, easily handled by Bebo, and then misplayed by Victor Love and in the back of the net. Rupert moving it along to Connor Brown. Over the blue line, Brown over to Leipzig, shoots, and it drops as McCollum didn't know where it was. It dropped in front of him, and Rupert took an extra chip, and they didn't like the look of that. And uh, right in the middle of it all is Brendan Leipzig as he pokes his head out. Brennan looks in, Matt Fratton side of the goal. Nope, going to put it back up to William Nylander. Fratton shoots, and it's off the pads. Back up, and Nylander quick back to it. And now we're back to five on four, at least. Fratton looks in, shoots, rebound, still there. Fratton leans back to it. And Nylander back up high to the blue line. Nielsen plays it deep. After it, stick side. There's Brennan with a shot out front. Freeze, Bodie picks it up, and Mickelson, or Freeze rather, trying to knock it in, and McCollum. Wow. McCollum lost the puck, gave it right back to the Marlies. They had a golden opportunity. And Tennessee at the other end scores. A great opportunity for the Marlies out front. It stays out of the Grand Rapids net, and the Tennessee races away. And how many times do you see this happen yeah. in the game of hockey? Love trying to poke it back along, steps back out front and the puck ends up on the back of the net, but they shake it from there. Now it's Porter who finally gathers it in and sees an exit strategy. Here's a Tennessee with speed backhander and it's gonna be a penalty, but the save from Antoine Bebo, Mealy and Polkinen 
or rather Pace. This one, side of the goal, drifting in. Pace on the back side, waiting for it. There it is. Rob oh, OMG! Wow, Antoine Bebo throws the mid out and this, stops that one from going in. You're going to see this one on some highlight reels. He sends it down low to Nylander, out of the corner. Nylander looks in, patient, far side. Leipzig tried to shot, but it's blocked and by Pace. Pace has no stick either, so it's five on. Fratton off the mask, and this one comes back up to Brennan. Back over to Fratton, less than a minute to play. Here in the third period, down by two, hard shot, Brennan block, and it's picked up and eased back out. And now the crowd on its feet here in Western Michigan as they see that their Grand Rapids Griffins are going to the second round. 